Alright guys, so today we are going to be doing Chi Ching number 75. So last Chi Ching we went through a lot of Jack Daniels items. I think in this Chi Ching there's only one of them and that is where we are starting with. Uh, the first thing that I have is a Jack Daniels wood display case. This was kind of like a cabinet with a glass front. So something to display your Jack Daniels shot glasses in. Eric and I won this at an auction and sold it for $106. So I know I also mentioned in my last Cha Ching when I was talking about the Jack Daniels items, but just for anyone who maybe this is the first video of mine they ever clicked on, um, definitely if you are selling Jack Daniels specifically related items, open up um, your shipping policies to include out of the country buyers because a lot of those collectors are overseas and specifically in Germany. I would say most of my Jack Daniels items, like 98% of them went to Germany. Uh, next thing we have is a pair of shoes. These are by a company called Rialto. I picked these up at a fill a bag rummage sale and those sold for $24.99. So in the grand scheme of things, I paid about a dollar for the shoes. Um, I don't pick up shoes super duper often. Um, they either have to be super cheap or just really speak to me type of thing. Or, you know, I know that they are a good brand to resell. Um, I wouldn't say Rialto is a great resale type of brand, but like I said, I picked them up at a fill by grummage sale and they were pretty much a dollar. And next thing I have, I think I got this at Goodwill. Um, I'm not quite, what I know what it is now, but at the time when I picked it up, I didn't know what it really stood for. Um, it said Adam LZ on it. I thought maybe it was kind of like a skateboarding brand or like, you know, um, BMX or something like that. Like someone who did extreme sports or something. Um, apparently it is a YouTuber and I think he did do some extreme sports, but then got into cars. I don't know. I didn't do a whole lot of like sleuthing on who he was exactly, but obviously he has a very large following. Um, and I picked that up and it sold for $38 and 99 cents. It did take a little while to sell, but, um, it did go. Next item I have is a vintage blue oyster cult shirt. Uh, this was a ladies shirt. It was on the smaller side. I got this at a yard sale and I think um, it was either 25 cents or 50 cents. It was very, very cheap and that sold for $70. So that was a really great find. Never before had I ever found a blue oyster cult shirt before, but if I ever found any more, I would definitely pick them up. And I was surprised too with this because it was such a smaller size, but it still did sell really well. Next item we have is a purse by B. Mikowski. This was just kind of like a crossbody purse. It was a silver metallic bag that sold for $19.99. That may have come from a yard sale. I actually sold the same exact purse before, I believe for around the same price, except it was bronze instead of silver. So that's probably why I picked th this one up. Um, next we have a vintage Winston Cup Series hat. Uh, I found a couple of these at a yard sale. I think they were like a dollar to maybe two dollars a piece. And I purchased all of the ones that they had. And I have sold, I think I've sold all of them now. Uh, but this one here, they all sold for the same price. But this one did sell for $29.99. Um, let's see, next we have a little um, ceramic footed trinket box. This was German made. Um, I don't remember exactly where I picked this up. Again, it was probably from a yard sale, so I'd definitely say a dollar or less was spent on it. I mean, there is a, a possibility that it was on like a, a random tray uh, from an auction. Uh, but that sold for $19.99. Next we have a set of three uh, Avon liquid deodorants. These were all brand new. 
I went to an auction. There was a bunch of Avon stuff. I didn't really pick up a lot of it. I was mainly interested in, you know, obviously like the perfumes and stuff like that. Uh, but I did, you know, get some makeup items that were actually discontinued shades that had been selling well. And these were just kind of like mixed in with some other stuff that I won. And those sold as a lot of three for $15.99. Um, let's see, next we have, here is some of that Avon discontinued makeup shade I was just talking about. So this, I sold a lot of two of these Avon lipsticks in the shade Raspberry Ice. Sheer Raspberry Ice was the name of the lipstick. So this is a discontinued shade. Um, that, that lot of two sold for $29.99. I had quite a few tubes of these. I sold them in lots of two and every single lot sold. So <laughs> this is definitely a shade people are looking for. Um, okay, next we have a piece of jewelry. This one came from that shoebox full of jewelry I got over the summer uh, that I paid $5 for the, the box. I still have so much jewelry, guys, to list, and I've been winning jewelry at auctions as well. I think I may be doing another just kind of like going through a box of jewelry that I have currently um, that has just been accumulating from auctions. I thought that would be fun to go through. But this one here was like an emerald green tennis bracelet. Really pretty. Again, like I said, it came from the $5 jewelry box and that sold for $22.50. Next item I have already sold before, so when I found this at a yard sale, I knew right away to pick it up. Um, this is a vintage board game called Pizza Party. I actually had this when I was a kid, and I absolutely loved it. Um, that sold for $59.99, and I'm pretty sure that is what I sold it for um, originally. So that's the second time finding that game out in the wild. All right, let's see. Next we have another Avon item, but this is a jewelry piece. This was a black ring. Again, this ring was in that $5 jewelry box that I got from the yard sale, and that one sold for $9.99. Same with these Laurel Birch earrings. They were in the $5 jewelry box, and those sold for $12.99. All right, this next item is probably my biggest cha-ching um, within this cha-ching video. This was a vintage Life magazine featuring Marilyn Monroe on the cover. Um, I won a stack of these Marilyn Monroe Life magazines at an auction for $40, and this magazine by itself sold for $154.50. So this Life Marilyn Monroe magazine specifically is the one people are after. This is the one that is worth the most money. It is from 1952 is the year that you want to look for if you would ever come across, um, you know, stacks of old Life magazines. Um, definitely keep an eye out for this one. So, um, the next item is a John Wright cast iron mold. This was like an ABC mold so it would make like ABC cookies. Eric found this at a yard sale. I think he paid maybe four dollars or so for it at the yard sale and that sold for $25.99. Anytime we find the cast iron John Wright molds we tend to pick them up because they do sell. Not always for like a ton of money but people are always looking for cast iron pans and things like that. So if you can get them cheap enough, I would definitely pick them up. Okay, so like I said, the Marilyn Monroe Life magazines were in a stack. This next item that sold were the rest of the stack. So I think it was a lot of four. But again, all different Marilyn Monroe Life magazines. But these ones weren't, you know, that high dollar one. So I lotted these up as the set because they weren't worth like a whole lot individually or anything like that. Um, and that sold for $39.99. Next item I sold was an old ES Skateboards shirt. Uh, I went to a yard sale and I found like a ton of skateboarding brand uh, shirts and hoodies and things like that. And 
they were so cheap. I'm talking, I paid probably a quarter or 50 cents for the t-shirts and a dollar to two dollars for the hoodies. So I made out pretty well with some older um, skateboarding brands. And this shirt sold for $25.99. I sold an older um, shady M&M hat. I found this at a yard sale. I think they charged me maybe a dollar, maybe two dollars at the max. It was actually even missing like on the top of the, you know, like the baseball style caps. They have that little like round button on the top. It was missing that, unfortunately. Had it not been missing that, I probably could have got even more for this hat, but it did sell for $49.99. People are definitely looking for those older clothing items, um, you know, like the shady I think it was Shady Limited, it was called, um, that Eminem came out with back in the day. Um, next we have a set of two older Pez dispensers. Uh, one was of Mickey Mouse and the other was Donald Duck. These didn't have feet, so the Pez that don't have feet definitely seem to sell a little better than the ones that do. I think that the ones without feet are older. I don't know like a ton about Pez, uh, but I do know that at least a little bit of information. Um, obviously not all of them are worth like a ton, but these came probably just randomly on an auction um, box lot and those sold for $12.99. Um, I sold a Victoria's Secret Very Sexy Perfume. This was new, still in the box. I got this at a yard sale for $5 and I sold it for $35.99. Next item was a pair of women's cowboy boots. These were so pretty. Had they been my size, I probably would have kept them. They were by a company called Corral, and those sold for $89.99. I did get those at a yard sale, and I'd say maybe I spent like 5 to $10 on them. Um, next, we have a pair of Doc Martens Mary Jane shoes. These were in like brand new condition. I got these at a church yard sale and they were only $2. Can't say no to Doc Martens for $2 ever. And those sold for $69.99. Next item we have is an old Polly Pocket figure. This was just like one of the little tiny dolls that would have gone into one of the vintage Polly Pocket play sets. I had purchased a vintage Disney Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs Polly Pocket play set and there was a couple of random loose Polly Pocket figures and things in like the little baggie that there was and this one here went to a I think it was like a bird or uh, not a bird house a tree house um poly pocket set and you know when people are collecting the poly pockets a lot of the times when you find the the poly pocket case you know it's missing the dolls and that type of thing so if you're a collector and you're trying to complete the collection and you just need a doll or if you're a seller and want to complete the set so you can, you know, resell it for more, um, people are going to be looking for those replacement pieces. And that sold for $12.99. Next item we have is an older mesh fishnet bun. This is like a hair snood barrette. So you put the barrette in your hair and like wind your... Um, well, either put your hair in a bun or just like pull it up and then the net would just like, you know, keep your hair up off of your neck type of thing. I got this at a yard sale. I'm pretty sure it was just 25 cents and that sold for $19.99. The lady said that her daughter used it because um, <clears throat> she rode horses. So when she would ride her horse, she'd put it up in that. Next, we have a Bath & Body Works body spray in the scent Love, Love, Love. So this one is a fragrance that is no longer made, so people are definitely looking for it. That sold for $39.99 and probably picked that up at a yard sale for like a dollar. Um, I sold two tubes of Avon Rare Gold Shower Gel. Again, these came from just like a random tray of Avon stuff that I won at the auction. Those sold for $12.99. 
The next item I sold was a perfume by Deliger. It was called Royal Dove. Very pretty bottle this was in. I think this I paid a dollar for at a yard sale. And it sold for $9.99. So not a whole lot. But um, I do think that I had... I have another one of these, but it's in a different colored bottle. I haven't listed it yet, and it came from, you know, a tray of stuff that I won at, a, at an auction. Uh, next, we have a set of six drinking glasses. These had, like, a diamond-style print to them. I was just drawn to the look of them. I thought that they had a real fun look. I picked these up at a yard sale. I can't remember what I paid for them. I did think I, I paid a little bit for them. Um, and unfortunately, they weren't worth a whole lot of money. They sold for $21.99. I have had luck with old drinking glasses before. That's the only reason why I picked them up. But, you know, some are a hit, some are a miss. Next thing I have is a vintage Nancy Drew book called uh, Quest of the Missing Map. Um, I had once won a box of vintage um, children's books at an auction with some old uh, kids records and stuff in and I'm still selling stuff from that box that sold for nine dollars and ninety nine cents uh, next we have one of those cast iron chocolate molds this one was of three ducks those sold for a hundred and nine dollars and ninety nine cents and Eric and I won those at an auction you saw in my other two chings we sold every single chocolate mold that we had. Next item we have is a Harry Potter Seen It game. I picked this up at a thrift store. I'd say I paid maybe four or five dollars for it and it sold for $69.99. So this is definitely a Harry Potter game that you know is selling really well. And funny enough, this game actually went to my old hometown. <laughs> so that was kind of funny when I went to ship it. I was like, oh wow, this person like lives just a little bit down the way from me. Okay, so next we have the next two items went to the same person. The first item was a top um, that I got at a fill bag rummage sale. So maybe I paid a dollar for it. Um, you know, not a good brand, not something I would ever pick up again. Um, it sold for $4.99. I was just glad to have it out of my house. Um, and then the other item was an Alex and Ani bracelet. Again, this came from a yard sale and probably paid 50 cents to a dollar for it. And that sold for $7.99. Um, I definitely feel like the Alex and Ani jewelry, I'm hesitant about picking it up because I feel like it doesn't have such a great resale value. Um, I'm pretty sure I still have a bracelet listed and it's just going nowhere. <laughs> okay, so next item we have is a sealed vintage Darkwing Duck um, VHS tape. I picked this up at a fill -a bag rummage sale and that sold for $19.99. The next three items went to a subscriber named Joanne. She purchased um, that little Hansel and Gretel uh, plastic dolls. I don't know if you guys remember me like um, hauling those and I wasn't quite sure like how they worked because their legs moved and you guys let me know like if you put it up on you know something higher and then it would like walk down type of thing. Um, that sold for $9.99, and that came from a random box lot tray at the auction. And then she won two of the lots of the McDonald's Madame Alexander doll toys that I had won at the auction. So the first one was a lot of eight of them that sold for $29.99. And then the other was for a lot of 12 that sold for $39.99. Uh, next item was a vintage Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles um, Mike the Sewer Surfer figure. Uh, this sold for $19.99. This item actually belonged to my aunt. Um, I know if you guys have been watching all of my videos, um, I was selling stuff for her. I still have some of her stuff listed. Um, I haven't gotten anything recently from her. Um, but, um, you know, I probably will sometime, maybe soon. Um, so, so yeah, I still am selling for her. It's just, you know, things aren't selling like super duper quick or anything like that. 
Uh, next we have a t-shirt by the company Athleta. This was new with tag. I picked this up at Goodwill and that sold for $39.99. Um, let's see, I sold a Vintage Mirrored Face Powder Compact. I won this um, at an auction, and that sold for $12.99. Next item also came from an auction. This was a Longaburger tissue box that sold for $59.99. I don't know a whole lot about Longaburger items, but I do know the tissue boxes sell really well. <laughs> that's about the extent of my long burger knowledge um next we have another vintage skateboarding shirt this is by habitat and that one sold for $22.99 this next ring came out of that five dollar jewelry box as well this one was super duper pretty um turquoise ring that sold for $33.99. We sold an older PS1 PlayStation console with controller. Um, Eric purchased this at a yard sale. I'm pretty sure it was only $5. Um, mainly because she said she didn't know if it worked. And it did. It worked great. Um, we sold that for $64.99. This next item also came from that $5 jewelry box. Um, this one was a really pretty gold colored bracelet. It was marked P-R-E-X Italy. That sold for $25.99. I don't know much about jewelry, so I may have sold these items like, you know, way cheaper than what they're worth, but you know, that's my fault <laughs> just because I don't know much about jewelry but it's okay because I got such a good deal on it myself and then the last thing that I have for this cha-ching is a bottle of true religion hippie chick perfume that sold for $28.99 and I probably paid a dollar for it at a yard sale um okay so at the end of the video, I like to talk about any kind of problems or issues. Within this cha-ching, I did have, um, when I was compiling uh, my cha-ching, I came across one return that I had. Um, not with anything in this cha-ching. You obviously didn't see it because it was returned and I relisted it. So if it ever sells again, you'll see it in a cha-ching. Um, but as of lately, I do feel like returns have... Um, reared their head again. I've had three <laughs> within the past um, couple weeks and I feel like I haven't had one in a very long time. Like I was expecting over Christmas and the holidays to definitely see like an uptick in returns like after Christmas um, and then it just didn't happen and now kind of like all of a sudden I am starting to see a little bit of an uptick. Um, but I mean, it's whatever, you know, I accept returns. So, you know, if someone isn't happy with their item, as long as they send it back, I, you know, give them their refund. So, and then I just relist it and hope that it, it resells again. Um, but other than that, not a whole lot going on with eBay. I feel like sales are doing okay. Um, I just had a really good, um, couple days here the past couple of days and I've been selling off those uh, vintage Apple computer games so I've been doing really well with those um, I got a bunch of <laughs> Winnie the Pooh items at the auction um, I got a lot of those listed and yeah I feel like I've been listing a lot more um, higher priced stuff than I typically do and I feel like that's just going to happen as I grow and you know learn more and fig you know find out the worth of things and that type of thing and that's what I want to do. I want to be making as much you know as I possibly can on the items that I'm buying um, because that's the reason why I resell. It's to make the profit on reselling the item so um i will still always be listing um you know cheaper stuff and that kind of thing that's never gonna stop um but i am you know trying to focus a little more on 
the bigger items as far as, you know, resale goes. Um, just, you know, because it's makes the most money, basically. It's worth, you know, worth more of your time. Uh, the only other thing that I really wanted to uh, mention in this video, I know in my last teaching, um, I had a subscriber who was a little upset uh, by the fact that I forgot to mention that um, one of the items that I sold was from a subscriber because I like to like shout you guys out when you, you know, purchase something from me. Um, I will say, one, I am so incredibly sorry about that. It was never my intention to forget or anything like that. Um, these cha-chings that I do are, I'm still like not caught up. So these are old cha-chings. And when I write down, like when I know, and this is just for future reference for you guys as well, if you are a subscriber that buys something from me, put Put the put it as a note to seller um, when you check out. Like you can leave like a note to seller. Say in that note to seller that you're a subscriber. Um, that is where I typically can catch catch it if I forget since you know my chichings are so far behind. Um, I don't have the best memory at all. So um, if you send if you send that if you tell me in a message, like if you buy something and then you message me afterwards saying you're a subscriber, um, you know, I don't see that when I'm going down to like put my cha-chings together. I'll see the note um, with the item, but I don't see the actual message if it's through eBay messages. So that's how things are getting like lost. So if like I forget to mention you, it's probably because you sent it in a message and it's been so long that it's just completely buried and I don't remember anymore. So I just wanted to apologize for that. It's never my intention to forget you guys shout out. So I do, I, Lisa is uh, the name of the subscriber. If she's watching, she might not want to watch my videos anymore. So, I mean, I understand. But Lisa, I do apologize for missing your item. I did go back through my eBay messages and found your message and um, found your item and I do apologize for that. But that's why I just kind of wanted to let you guys know for future reference, if you purchase something, put it in note to seller instead of messages just so I don't um, end up missing it. Uh, but yeah, that is everything for this cha-ching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, you had to let me know what you thought down in the comments. Um, you know, as always, what's been selling for you, how is eBay going for you, and that kind of thing. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.